Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about this thing, which is a hydrogen fuel cell. And this is the kind that turns hydrogen into electricity. So you might be familiar with the other type, um, which is basically the electrolysis of water, where you pass a current through some water and you split the water into hydrogen and oxygen. This fuel cell does the opposite. It combines hydrogen with oxygen to release electricity. And I'll show you how it works. So first of all, we're gonna take this thing apart. Okay, so this thing is actually quite simple. There's just a few bolts and some acrylic pieces holding everything together. Then we've got two stainless steel meshes, one for the cathode and one for the anode, or the positive and the negative. Uh, and then we've got this piece of plastic. And this is what makes this entire thing work. So this is what is known as a PEM, or a proton exchange membrane. And the simple explanation of this is it just allows protons to pass through it and pretty much nothing else. Um, the material that they use in this case is called Nafion, which is a material very similar to Teflon, but it's a lot more expensive. And that's probably why they only use a very small uh, square of it. So the way that it works, um, I'll show you this diagram. So imagine we've got two hydrogen molecules on one side of this apparatus and an oxygen on the other side uh, of the PEM membrane. Um, so the hydrogen is basically a proton. So the hydrogen molecules, they can pass through this filter without any problem. Um, and they will combine with the oxygen on the other side to form water. But in the process of passing through this filter, the hydrogen will uh, release uh, some electrons and they will pass through the circuit, creating electricity. And that's basically the whole operation. So now let's put this thing back together and hopefully I can show you that it works. Okay, so I've got a put back together but before we can test it we need to make some hydrogen so I just built a very simple uh, hydrogen generator it's just a bottle of water um, with two stainless steel screws in it and I use a car battery charger to pass some current through it I also add a little bit of baking soda to the water to make it more conductive and make this whole apparatus a bit more efficient To test if we are creating hydrogen, we can see if it burns. And it does. Um, hydrogen is highly explosive, so don't try this at home. Now I've got the hydrogen fuel cell set up. I got it hooked up to my multimeter. I'm going to set the multimeter to millivolts uh, because I don't expect this uh, fuel cell to produce a lot of electricity um, simply because the envelope is quite small and the amount of hydrogen that we are producing is also quite small. Uh, so I don't expect a lot of voltage. So now I'm going to connect our hydrogen supply to the fuel cell and we should see the voltage go up. And we do. All right, so it leveled out right around 550 millivolts, which is a little over half a volt. And that's not a lot of electricity, uh, but we sort of expected that given all of the inefficiencies. I still think it's a pretty cool proof of concept and there are definitely some real world applications for a hydrogen fuel cell like this. Uh, I'll have a link in the description to the particular fuel cell I use in this video. So if you want to play around with it, uh, you can get it there. I'll also link the Nafion membrane. Um, if you feel experimental and you want to build your own massive fuel cell, um, go ahead. But yeah, that's all I have for today. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe and see you next time.